on the last episode of Dungeons and Dragons, Grave of Men. <laughs> <laughs> no, all thanks. right, there we go. That's enough. No, all right. <laughs> More or less, poor Bird has pulled double duty with acting. Yeah. Which... I can barely do it with one. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Hey. Aladdin. Yeah? Um, where did the... Where did Kahuna go? Also, why was Kahuna not killing us on sight? Oh, uh, you see, but I think I explained this. When I was down in the it almost seems like a deeper version of this very keep uh we found out where wait Steviana... you just went down to the basement yeah essentially oh but it there was a river of this pink goo that must have been his blood big dd creature guy's blood Wait a second. Wait a second. Hand me one of your health potions. Yeah, I, I was explaining that that's what they are. I compare the color of the health potion to the color of the crystal. They're not quite the same, but seeing as you probably still have uh, Detect Evelyn good going, because that goes for ten minutes, uh, you definitely detect the same, uh, the same schmutz going on. Do you think that the crystals are also, like, organically coming from the same being? Well, actually, the creature said that it wasn't necessarily from him. They, mm. it, was, it was the magic of the nobles that had transformed themselves that were manipulating it to make it taint their crystal for their own ends. But then again, I don't know if I can trust that, that guy at all. The creature, that is. All intentions point to him not being, like, quite the source of evil that Vivi made them out to be. On Which the is... other hand, Vivi did give me the swanking body, so... I, uh... I'm well, not really in so a position you can be bribed. To, to disable Vivi... Or, dis um... Disable? Um... Yeah. Backstab Vivi. Or well, go against her wishes. He... When I asked if he and Vivi were actually inevitables together, like she had initially implied, he s just sort of laughed at that and said, you know, ha, you know, she's, she's merely a doll with big dreams in a condescending way. So Do you think I, I that he, Vivi might not actually be inevitable? It's possible. It, 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 she very well perhaps could have just been a gnome that had, she was a gnome, right? Uh, yes. Could have been a gnome that dabbled in necromancy and somehow was able to extend her life via the same means that we were able to extend yours in a way by giving you a tangible body. Whoa. But it's possible. And now that I think about it, She's making the other people of Zagnoth, the survivors of the slums, into beings much like herself. But uh, this this is all so strange with, with the druids and the nobles and so many forces at work. I, I can't tell who the real aggressors are in all this. Um, the creature did I, it seem It does trapped. sound like what we need to be doing is we need to go find the other obsidian statue from the church. And from there, we need to uh, eventually try to get some uh, clearer answers out of Vivi. Only then can we uh, figure out what we should be doing with our friend from the depths. Does that make sense to all? Yep. That is. I am very... Lacking in context. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit angry things in the face. I mean, Yay. as long as you're cool doing that, then... Uh... I will never escape this place until I do. <laughs> That's just true. Well, let me check up on Kahuna for a moment. Oh, who? You just went through the walls. I went all the way around. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kahuna. Kahuna. You remember the uh, the guy that we killed earlier? Turns out we didn't do that good of a job. Which one? Oh, you know, the big one. Kahuna! Okay. Hey, Kahuna. Yep, yep. Blah, blah, blah. He are looks you... very happy in the water. Are you enjoying it here? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Wait, she's getting the octopus? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> the other big one. Water elemental. Um, so I, you know, speak with him in Aquin. Uh, Kuna, what do you want to do with your life now? Blah, you're blah. you're free to be your your he own is elemental. Splashing away. You <laughs> like it here? Yeah, I'm dumb, dumb. Okay. Well, enjoy the waters, and hopefully our paths will cross again someday. Yum, 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 yum. How do, do you I even find a water that? elemental within a water pool? <laughs> uh, she can because <laughs> she's a a mer, mer a mer, 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 mer She's one of those mers. Tritons. <laughs> <laughs> People want me to say nye. I don't know how to say nye the way I said nye the first time, so I'm like afraid. Nye. And besides, he goes blub blub because he's big. Nye, yeah. nye he's is the past. Yeah, nye is the small nye ones. Nye is the little ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that does make me wonder about the other elementals. Do you remember serving alongside many others? Nye. <laughs> What does he say? <laughs> you have no idea. You've never understood if he understands anything you say, and you have no idea if you understand anything he has ever said. Well, you're basically talking to one of those drinking birds. <laughs> you're talking to a Furby. <laughs> well, I just wanted to let you know that in the mines on the other side of Zagnoth, below the... What was it? Oh, wait. Did Vivi send me... She sent me tell... Never mind. Well, if I encounter any more of your kind, I'll tell them that, you know, Big Kahuna has found his freedom and that they should too. Magna, magna. You All think right. you see him salute, but you really can't tell. Okay, well, I salute back. All right. Well, that was um, an approximation of closure on that plot line. Wait, wait, he's coming with me? He's Pokemon. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> he's following you. He has no idea what you said. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> he thought you were telling him to follow him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's literally not smart enough to understand. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was sitting here being like, no matter what she does, he's going to follow her out of here. Oh. oh. Part two. <laughs> oh, what a twist. We thought we thought the big twist of this this session was going to be Vivi. Nah, it was Kahuna finding his adventurer spirit. Okay, uh, uh, I suppose you're coming along with me then? No, I'll, no. Uh, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Though, though, really, if you did want to stay in the water, that uh, well, then again, I don't know how long the water would be there. Okay, guys, got Kahuna. What? Also, is Kahuna healed up now that he was yes, in the water? Yes, he's fully healed. Okay, good. What? Kahuna heals via osmosis. Mubbed Why up. did you name it? <laughs> well, that was that was his name, right? Kahuna. Right? What? What? Didn't that make right. sense? All right, I think we should take a long Kahuna? rest here uh, because our rest was interrupted. By coming out here and investigating all this stuff. No, you you guys had your long rest. Uh, all right, easy enough. So, um, Shell, I'm giving Kahuna to you for for now. Okay, yeah, Kahuna. I will. Yum yum. The ironically yum. named yum. one. <laughs> yum yum. Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, hey, right? Skitter, Skitter. Uh, yeah? Can you take me over to Dimitri real quick? Uh, sure. Okay, Shell, I'm just gonna put that there for the for now. Use that as a stat block and we'll bang something up properly later. Oh, really? G Greg? It's like Greg, a perpetual summon. Greg, stop. Skither, tell him to stop and I'll walk uh, over to uh, him. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, Skitter's gonna make a, uh, let's see, his handle <laughs> animal. Give me a second. I, uh, <laughs> 
character sheet. Oh god, there is a skill for this. <laughs> Animal handling, he's got a minus two. Twelve. Oh, that's no. probably enough to ma- that's maybe get enough. you in the right yep. direction. Animal handling. Right. That's exactly what it's like to be in a party with uh, Greg. Oh. <laughs> okay, Greg comes to... Oh shit! Greg comes to a stop. Dimitri! Uh, Greg is also facing the wrong direction. <laughs> yes? Do you want to arm wrestle? No. Tres. We're screwed. If you break that arm, you're not getting another one. I know. I might be able to repair it, but uh, it doesn't work like muscles. We could still it have Skitter drive him into, like, a closet. And currently, Skitter's driving him into a wall. <laughs> he rolled a zero on an animal handling. Like, this is that bad. <laughs> That's oh, probably God. for the best. That's, it, it, he, Greg is currently looking like a like a like an NPC from like Morrowind, just like running into a corner, and he's like in a full running animation, but he's not moving because he's stuck on a small rock. <laughs> I forget. I always forget the zero number can even exist. Okay. Dimitri goes over and like guides more. Uh, ah, shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's like one of those ice puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so combined. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go the southern route to get up to the second floor well, so we can wait, hold on. Huh? Uh I just wanted to say we're probably gonna just wait for you here. Uh there's there's ogres up on the second floor. Ogres? Yeah, we saw them on the walls when we were coming in. Uh why would there be That's your oh. job. Why would there be ogres in this keep? I mean I don't know. They look pretty big and mean and nasty. Wait a minute. Like Gorlar's ogres? Uh, maybe? Who's oh, Gorlar? Oh, no. Uh-huh. Uh, Gorlar is an orc ogre. I-, I thought that you were familiar with him. Uh, did were they? I don't think they were. They were familiar with him, actually. They were? Okay. That. Yeah. They remembered that he was a brute. Oh. Uh, yep. Gorlar is pretty infamous in this area. Oh, right. He's they like were living Mike Tyson under... crossed with the lead right, right. singer from, from No, no, no. Smash they were Mouth. living under the arena, so of course they know who Gorlar is. Uh, yeah. And the ogres. Yeah, sorry. Uh, right. Sorry. Lapse of memory. Don't worry about it. Uh, well, mm, see, Gorlar scares the shit out of, uh, well, uh, out of... Uh, what's his name? Hey, hold name. on. Wasn't there a polka dot guy? Philip J. Fry. Uh, <laughs> poor Spitshine. I mean, he can't he can't look at Gorlar without losing his rocks and pretty much everything else. Like, they, we are not durable wizards. Uh, those tentacles almost killed us. Well, except for Zack, but, I mean, whatever. Well, uh, perhaps we'll be able to find Gorlar. Look, we're, we're pencil pushers and researchers, and, well, in Spitshine's case, we're not even sure if he's a wizard, but either way. <laughs> Last chance to have the wizards babysit Greg before we make a horrible, horrible mistake. Look, we'll be down here. We'll be researching the crystal. We'll, we'll let you know if we find anything. Uh, I wouldn't but... wish that on anyone. I would. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just Let's... keeps rolling animal handling. He's doing very, very poorly at it. <laughs> And what do Why I see down this hall? Leash? Or do I have to do light? <laughs> okay, it is it is dark. Okay, then okay. I will use light to... So there are three doors. One at the end of the hall. Just to... Oh, uh, what the hell? Oh gosh, that was, little... not do that. that was a Somebody little... Somebody too... peed. That was a little Ew. too yellow. <laughs> well, I'm unaffected. Okay, I'm going to make it this color. It'd That's be better. easier to have Kahuna carry Greg at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. <laughs> just give him water breathing and just throw him in there. <laughs> <laughs> then he would be deaf and sort but of then, blind. But then yeah. the fan art would not be drawn. Yeah. And that's what this is all about. <laughs> Guys, can we at least take off his blindfold? Like, I'm not sure why he has to be blind. I don't think Greg can read lips. Well, the thing is, like, won't he be able to see what's going on up here? And... I mean, I guess. But if we have to take off his blindfold every time we fight, I don't see the point. Didn't the blind and deaf uh, Greg just have a conversation with Dimitri? Yeah. Uh, 
about <laughs> arm wrestling. Well, oh, I mean, conversation, not point. so much so. Uh, no, like, he said... You... <laughs> uh, yeah, he just asked if we could arm wrestle, and then he walked away. <laughs> and doesn't know what you said back, or well, know if I you think were there. he can context. He can. He Greg's Greg can context clue it. <laughs> no, that, that that was fine. Uh, I mean, I suppose he can see so long as this creature doesn't interfere. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I'm not really advocating. I was just asking. It's not a big deal. I mean, do you think that in the event the creature takes over oh. that... Oh, I don't know. Well, let's keep going. I'll get better at this someday. <laughs> so we have a couple uh, of rooms. Right. I guess I, I will try this door. Why not? I mean, if we're going to go through here, we might as well be thorough. Okay. So you're going through the door that's right in front of Dimitri? Uh, yes. Okay, so it is unlocked, and it leads to a short passage that extends off into the darkness. Uh, okay. All right. Is it just another door? Yep. All right, I guess I'll try this one. Okay, so this door is a little stuck. All right. Uh, I attempt to give it a uh, a heave hole. This would be a really bad time for a lightning bolt spell. <laughs> Very. Would oh be. yeah. The whole party's in front of you. Uh, let's see. So, uh, door is unlocked. Skitter is going to try maneuver Greg forward past everybody so Whoa. he can pick the lock. Oh, all right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 it's not locked. He climbs back up on Greg. Uh, hands the animal to assist through bashing through doors. Skitter fails horribly. Uh, Does that mean he headbutts with Skitter? <laughs> Probably <laughs> slam. Oh, well. All right. Um, Greg. Let's see. Can let's see how the door handling works when you have a concussion. You can, can kind of context clue this. Uh, let's just roll perception. How about see if he figures it out? Nope. <laughs> Greg is, is blissfully unaware of what's going on in front Greg, of him. Greg starts like fondling the door. Uh, if you have to give verbal commands, Skitter, you can lift up an earphone. I mean, no, this is fine. I, it doesn't look like he's more successful than I am. <laughs> All right. Um, why not give it another shot? We've uh, we've taught enough goofy shit. <laughs> or you kick open the door, which is not actually that stuck. It was a DC fourteen. I'm surprised. Uh, so there is a there is a pile of trunks that were stacked up against the door, and you enter the room, and it looks kind of uh, why there's actually there's a dead dude in the corner. <gasps> oh what? no! Uh, he looks like a regular, honest to goodness guardsman who I don't have the icon for because I can't. Oh, Aladdin! Jesus! There they are. <laughs> Okay. Slow down. I I put on the mask to there see if there's a ghost. There's no ghost. There's no ghost. The body looks like it's been here for like a month. Yeah. Oh. So it smells awful in here. Yeah, I it's he's mummified. Yeah, uh. I suppose it's like tomb like in here. So he had shut himself in. Is there anything on him like an identifier or he looks like he was uh, a soldier of some kind. You know, maybe he belonged in one of these areas. Um, you know, he he kind of matches. He looks like he matches all of the homunculi you found, except for, you know, he looks like whole. Like he wasn't stitched together like uh, everybody else was. Mm. Mm-hmm. But he was human at one point. Yes. And he looks. He honestly reminds you of that guard that had uh, starved to death in the cellar. All the way back in like episode two or three, right? Jeez. These these people just hold themselves up in places where they thought that they could 
seek con- some kind oh, of Oh, you mean the corpse I out. was playing for desecrating. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's in these trunks? Uh, let's see. A lot of personal effects, from what you can tell. All right. Are you okay. the barracks? Are you actually investigating, or because uh, you investigated the body, but like, if you want to, I can investigate, investigate the trunks. Yeah, because your role helps me tell you what you find if you find anything specific, and so on and so forth. Whereas just saying that, I'm waiting for the roll. The investigation for the body was 13, but for the trunks, it was 18. Okay. So you actually find in one of the trunks uh, a glittering uh, die. It's, uh, it looks like it might have been carved from bone. Uh, like a dice? And then, yeah. Huh. And Interesting. Yeah, so it was carved from bone, and it's a just standard die six. Uh, looks like there are other ah. dice in there, but they don't glitter nearly as as fancily. Oh. Give it the roll. Yeah, but I I think I might have to do something while I'm doing the roll. Uh. Maybe I will roll it while I do a bardic inspiration, just to see if it adds on to that. For whatever reason, I'll I'll give I'll give Skitter. A bonus to his animal handi- handling, maybe? That would help. All right. I will. Okay, so there's the die six plus one for the bardic stuff. Okay. Ooh, nice. And I feel like bone dice would have like a weird balance problem. It, it probably, probably would. would. Yeah. And then I roll the bone dice. It was a die six, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, nice. I got sixes both times. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, you managed to save Skitter's roll. Skitter, <laughs> uh, not deftly, but like somewhat competently angles Show Greg out of the, the room. Show the way through the dark. Show your friend. Wait, what? <laughs> How to embark on a journey beyond uh, something. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to come up with random tunes and lyrics on That's the go. That's my favorite song from Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Emboldened by your words, Let it ha- Skitter is going to ha- try and bash down the door <laughs> down the uh, down the hall using Let it the ha- Gregor Ram. Let it ha- Can I get a strength check, Bird? You'll I never see. Ha- All right. So, from thinking of lyrics. <laughs> so uh, Skitter and Greg go crashing <laughs> through the doorway into this room. Whoa. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, it is a room. Yeah. Whoa. It was harder to get the uh to make it look like it it was recessed. I needed. Yeah, to it took a moment. I was like, wait darker. a minute. Yeah. So this room looks like it might have exploded you're not entirely sure it actually looks like the crystals kind of eating away at the rest of the building Ew. they have a skating um, ring from in here <laughs> yeah so you step out onto that actually uh we have to make another animal handling check as uh skitter and greg <laughs> uh slide <laughs> more or less Skittery's across the hall shit? yeah so this is actually like legit <laughs> skittery I, I shit. Suppose my bonuses for his role only worked once no no i i applied it again they're staying up but they're not staying stable they're kind of slid, oh, they've slid God. over to the wall, uh, and there is a uncomfortable hum to the entire room. Ew, gross! Okay, guys, you should probably clear out. A pirouette. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? All right, you can HMS pinafore your way there. Drez starts doing these kind of not dainty dancing moves, but I mean he's doing okay. <laughs> is is this typical of your kind, Drez? Is this some kind of ritualistic like spell casting maneuver? No. It's just slick floor. <laughs> Do you ever have fun? Oh. Uh well, when you've spent an eternity fighting off vicious monsters oh, that are Oh, here we tri- go again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, Dress. 
<laughs> Let's just say that we didn't really have much time to play. It's been her response to a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Something, something, War of Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that, well, that, that the that's reason why, funny shit. <laughs> the reason why singing was widely accepted is because we could actually use that to harm and heal. Just doing more fish facts. Just doing more fish facts. <laughs> <laughs> to this. It's the lore dump of episode 50-something. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, this would be episode oh, well, 51? There I go, sliding. 50 or 51? Sure. Well, guys, I was going to shatter this. 50. Exactly 50. So exactly you, oh. 50. You better get off. Hooray. I want to know what, what this is growing uh, from. <laughs> now you want to shatter it? Huh? Well, I was it's, worried about it's the- humming in here. It's humming in here, too. Precisely. It's the same- Well, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'd, ra I'd rather not argue with shrapnel. You need to, you need to control Kahuna. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're now inside Kahuna. Right. I mean, she could. Like she could man. actually wear Kahuna as a giant suit of armor. I, mean, I could breathe man, I in him too. That would be weird. Enough sense to uh, get me to go back. I want Skitter's trying. He rolled an eight to get you out of there. So. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Did Alaren already try to buff his movement skill? Uh, well, hand, I had buffed his handling. I don't know how long that that inspiration buff would last. Usually, it only lasts for a roll. Yeah, I so. think it's a roll, unfortunately. Uh, un unfortunately, the uh, Goblin Alchemist is not Donk. so effective in this in this game. Ouch! I'm gonna I'm gonna get engage in the difficult task of trying to catch Skitter in all this mess, and oh, if no. I can get within range, I, I will help. <laughs> And I'm going to cast, uh, forgot what tier that second level spell, uh, Owl's Wisdom. <laughs> How much wisdom does he get from this? Advantage, Advantage. on wisdom checks. <laughs> this is not so better. <laughs> oh well. my God. <laughs> <laughs> he has a minus he has a whole two. He has so much oh dice to go for, and he only goes for that part of it. Uh, Actually, that was a 15, I guess. Yeah. No, he... Uh... I mean, statistically, it's like twice as good. Yeah, no, it's true. But it's twice as good as a terrible, terrible <laughs> roll. <laughs> All right, so you guys managed to get uh, Skitter and Greg out of the room, and Alarum blasts it. So <laughs> the room shatters. Uh... In... I hope they close the door. Oh yeah, we probably should. <laughs> well, before you can't... the horrible death trap will happen. I, I can't because I have to see it, so I have to be at the door. Yeah, yeah. You, just got... you can mostly close the door and like poke out, peek through it. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so peering out through the door, you cast shatter into the room, and almost immediately, it more or less the whole place explodes. Not just the square that you outlined, but the whole place cracks and shatters. Okay. This stuff is not exactly the most. Um, Durable. However, uh, where the crystal breaks, there's kind of more crystal. But the problem is less so the the crystal that was underneath, or you know, the rest of the room. I just realized I have a picture of floating Greg still sitting around, so I'm gonna pull that up. <laughs> uh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell is that? Floaty Greg. You don't remember this? Yeah. Floaties oh, would be yeah. on biceps, though. I remember that. That's because <laughs> I made a joke about this earlier. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay well now that we've done that but almost immediately this round like kind of disc like shape appears out of the uh out of the um the like crystal bits that you've broken whoa and i'm just gonna put that down and these things start just pouring out ah oh. ah Skitter, Skitter, eye patch now. Close the door, close the uh, door. Uh, okay. Uh, Skitter, Slam. Skitter unblinds Greg for this. Is there a bar on the door? There is no bar. What's going on? Door. Are we ready to kill things? What's the door, what's the door made of? 
the door seems to be heavy wood. Yeah, it is. It is thick wood. Whatever Damn was it, in this room originally. How many of these are there going to be? Damn it! Oh yeah, you can't see them. I wish I had a wood shape. Boop. Okay, I, I smear the the door and gobbly gook. <laughs> what the glue? <laughs> yeah. Can they go through walls? I don't know what We're these. About are. to find out. <laughs> I think okay. we've we've fought them before, so I don't know if we know that or not. I don't remember. They have yet to uh, become incorporeal, if that's what you're asking. Well, what about... Uh, what about oh, you must have taken these things off so I can open the door. Greg opens the no, door. Wait, wait, no, but the, uh, it's... Zoop. Roll for Not initiative. that door. No, no, no. Oh, I meant the, the door, door, the door next, next to you. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Greg's just wandering around blind and deaf, <laughs> not knowing a fight is happening. Okay, so you open the door to the stairs. That lead upwards. However, where a Cerberus uh, attacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be really douchey. Instead, you're kind of attacked by a cascade of junk. Uh, it looks like somebody threw tables, chairs, boxes down the stairs. Uh, uh, spare suits of armor. Yeah, uh, and it looks like the stairs are kind of hard to uh, hard to climb as a result. Huh. Oh. Why did? It, Why was there? It wasn't to open the door. It's to get all this crap out of the way. These people had a lot of junk to try to barricade doors with, huh? <laughs> Every single door we've encountered that seems locked but actually isn't, uh, it's, it's just. Uh... Dimitri looks at one of the uh, little pieces of furniture that fell down and is like, it's not that junk. Kuhuna goes, <laughs> and absorbs all the junk. <laughs> He does. <laughs> it just like cannons it down the hallway out. Into the and, <laughs> and he piles it in front of this door. All right. I will allow oh, it. Wow. So <laughs> it takes a little while for Kahuna to ferry all of the junk to and from. Um, but you manage to uh, you manage to take everything uh, and pile it over there, barricading the doorway. Nom, nom. Good job, Kahuna. That's precisely what I would have done. Wink. Oh, God. <laughs> I just all get right, the feeling all, all of you guys yeah, yeah. say wink <laughs> instead of actually... Oh, we do. Okay. <laughs> we so, Greg, wink. <laughs> Greg, you are still unblinded, and you go yep. upstairs. Now, give me a second. Yep. Uh, so, you... Uh, this is going to take a bit to, uh, to set up. I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, let's see. So, you guys... Go upstairs, which, since you're unblinded, it's not a big deal. And you go out through a door into a room filled with goblins and, like, two ogres. Uh. Uh. And they look at you, uh, kind of dumbfounded for a moment. And then one of them is like, Greg! Oh, yeah, and Skitter probably oh, wouldn't Oh, man, be... it's you! You can't, you can't hear him here. I know, I know. Uh, we'll go. You, we'll you call him you Bonk. We'll you go. can't see or hear him, can you? Or do we bonk take the, the ogre. thing off? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, His... no. The ogre is them, more. But I can't hear them. Yeah, the ogre is more than loud enough to be heard through the. Yeah. Um... I I oh <laughs> I just sort of... yeah. <laughs> Skitter is gonna <laughs> like <help>. a thwomp. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you you see a bunch of people that you know. Uh -huh. uh, they look a little bit different. They look a little bit. Uh, their eyes are all glowy, and like they look a little bit grayer. Um, but they don't look uh, insane or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, I gestured a skitter to take the. Uh, the he has mouse already removed them. Down. Okay, cool. Oh, Bonk, man! Did you see? Oh, yeah. it's been. You see, Bonk, Strong, and a bunch of goblins that you never bothered to uh, learn the name of. Oh yeah, Bonk I don't give a crap strong. about them. Ogres, <laughs> strong. Ogres and Minotaurs are born in twins in this universe. <laughs> Bonk, strong. Did you see me out in the arena a couple days ago? Uh, no. Unfortunately, Gorlar said, uh, well, we couldn't go. That was for the, well, shall we say the, uh, mm, the, the lesser forces. You know, the we're the we're the special forces. I mean, do you see? Do you see what Gorlar's got us? And they're like flexing and they're like hella buff. 
Oh man. Yeah, I'm I'm miring I'm miring them gains pretty hard, bro. Oh god. And your eyes are like pretty damn cool looking. Yeah, you don't they're they are just glowy eyes. I mean you you it, it looks like something out of World World of Warcraft, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Can you uh do, do do you know any magic? Uh well uh that well, no, you should see uh you should see older brother Gonk. Dude is uh dude's got some new magic shit. He's uh he's down the hall. You could go ask him for a show. Oh man, that's awesome. Hey, hey, check it out, check it out. I learned uh some magic myself. Here, here. Shake my hand. Okay, he is going to put out a giant meaty fist. All right. <laughs> I use the can for shocking grasp and <laughs> like practical joke. Like buzzer hand. You buzzer hand him. Roll damage. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. He is. Uh, he is laughing uh, as though, uh, as though you, as though you got him good, and you did get him good. It doesn't look like uh, uh, being infused with crazy magical energy has done much for his intelligence. <laughs> Oh, all right, Whoa, all right, cool I didn't know. I didn't know they taught you that. I I haven't seen you for uh, months. I learned it when I got uh like I I kind of did the same thing you did, but uh a little bit different. But I got thrown into the portal. Uh, I'm Eldritch. I'm all Eldritchy now. It's it's freaking sweet. Greg is becoming Rick. Oh, kind of. <laughs> I haven't watched that show in months. Anyway, um. Listen, listen, man. Yeah. I have a great seeing you again. We're just passing through. I okay. have me, a couple of friends. We're just going to be like walking on out of here. Uh, uh, I'm not really familiar with the fort. What's the fastest way to get out? Uh, the drawbridge. Uh, hey, Skitter. How come we didn't take the drawbridge? Uh, Dimitri broke it. Drawbridge ain't gonna work. What's the second fastest way out of here? Uh, well, you t you could take the portal. I mean, that's kind of sort of what Gorlar is trying to do, but it's not oh, working so great. Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> good. Um, that's. Good to know. He'll he'll be very interested in seeing what I'm up to, I guess. Yeah, um, I miss the old Gorlar uh Gorlar Greg uh comedy duo. Shocking yeah, those touch. were That's a new one. I love it. Those are those are good times. Uh cool. So um right. Me and my friends, we're just gonna be walking around. I guess we're gonna go say hi to Gorlar. But uh like, can you at least give me, like, a little pointer, like, what's around this area? Uh, like, I don't know where the next set of stairs are, for example. Oh, well, it's down the hall. Uh, he's uh, to the left. Down to the, to okay. the left. Uh, cool. Yeah, if you go if you go out north, there's a nice view of the courtyard. Courtyard. I, I like to go out there and eat my lunch. Uh, and then I've got the bedroom. The beds are really small, but that's okay. Uh, and then, well... Then there's that, like, makeshift little arena. I, it's not as big as Gorlar's arena, but it, it'll do after, you know, somebody set a, a cow loose out there. <laughs> a, cow? a cow? Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, somebody let it loose. It uh, wrecked the place. Yeah, I'm not surprised. With its flaming Listen, parts. man, let's, uh, let's catch up later. But uh, I, got, I got business to tend to. Great seeing you. And uh, uh, you yeah. look awesome. Yeah. Sweet muscles, bro. Yeah. 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 I go back to the Gosh, the testosterone guys. And a cow nearby. <laughs> the flaming cows. I I wonder what the like like the god thinks of that <laughs> exchange. You have now we gotta figure out how much facts. happened in that in that time. Alrighty. Um I got good news and I got really bad news. Oh no. Give us give us the good news first. Okay. There is a way out of here upstairs. I also have neutral news. Um Okay. A bunch of Gorlar's ogres are up there. They recognize me. We're on good terms. 
And, like, they're gonna just let us, like, trapeze around, probably, unless Gorlar gave them orders to kill you guys. I don't know if that's gonna happen. They're not killing me, so I assume you're okay. That's odd, because Gorlar's tried to kill you twice. I mean, they could just think yeah, he's already well, dead. He, yeah, he, he definitely, uh, pretty much believes that I'm dead. Anyway, so, bad news. Uh, Gorlar's upstairs. Uh oh. oh. That, well, that's. Well, we should kill him. Oh. Um, uh. Well, you I went and said that. Kinda... <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> well, if he, I, I mean, him. he's up there. We need to. We, this is our best opportunity to, to uh, take care of business. So, is the door actually holding? Uh, huh? for now, yeah. There, there are okay. kind of routine thumps, but there, there's like a lot of shit in the... front of that door. Why do I feel like <laughs> we're going to come back and all the wizards are, like, destroyed? Oh. <laughs> when all the heads get out. That's a good thought. Hmm. We're, like, 100 feet away from uh, with, from the Quick, wizards being Kahuna. like, yeah, that'll hold them. Quick, Kahuna, <laughs> go, go tell the wizards. <laughs> <laughs> go tell the wizards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, walks <laughs> over and starts gesticulating wildly at them. <laughs> he looks to be doing a really good rendition of Midsummer Night's Dream. Maybe. Oh. It's like a tongue trying to speak without a mouth. Yeah. Well oh. your your compatriots are fond of fighting, right, Greg? Yeah. Would they see these little skull things as uh, intriguing foes? No. Oh. More like, uh, like kind of like dessert, like Skittles. Well, you know what about like right? twenty of them? <laughs> uh, I mean, I can ask him to do a favor, uh, maybe, but I, I don't, I wouldn't expect him to take them very long. Just come down here and just smash the crap out of them. Oh, that's a great distraction. Yeah, that could work. All right, we can. When we go back we upstairs, can send one we can group run that of by enemies them. at the other group of enemies, <laughs> and then yeah, slip by. That's fine. We'll 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 ask them to come down here and clear it out and like go ahead and clean it up. They 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 might be cool with it. I'm a we we were on good terms. Anyway, um, right. But the the important thing is that Gorlog's here. No, you didn't hear that. And uh, he's guarding the portal that we can take out of here. But you know what? Well, let's just all let's just all go to the outside area. I'll just cast spider climb over and over again. <laughs> well, well, we well, can hold skip on, hold all on, hold this on. mess. If there's a portal that takes us out here and Gordla is there, then we can kill two birds with one stone. That you have infinite said, stones. Right? Why are you trying to be efficient? No, no, no I, it it <laughs> is is it is expression. It is just idiom. Okay. Point being, like, we can just go up there, we can, uh, oh, oh, Greg, Greg, we can kick Gorlar through pits. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really that bent out of sh shape about it. Huh. I, uh, so you're telling me, Gorlar kills you, or attempts to kill you, and you're just cool with it. I mean, yeah. I don't understand you. You're a very strange man, Greg. Isn't okay. trying to kill each other all they do? <laughs> hey, Skitter. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a great that... opportunity. This is a great opportunity to kill Gorlar. I vote yes. We attempt to kill Gorlar. Won't that disperse your spirit forever? Uh. It is your paladin oath, though. No, I mean, I think I could. I would probably stick around. It just satisfies the oath. I can just get another one. I can just get another <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, all he has to do is finish go, this movie. Yeah, all he has to go uh, do is go out to Crusader uh, Crusader Mart, pick out <laughs> pick out a new uh, oath of something or other. Maybe maybe silence, oath of something or other. Maybe uh, poverty. Maybe uh, ducks. You know, <laughs> oath of ducks. 
<laughs> Rather Look, Actually, that raises a really interesting question. I'm pretty sure, like, there's no commitment to, like, if you fulfill your oath, like, your character is done. Uh, yeah, but, but you're a spooky are... ghost that's ghosts. literally only tied to reality by your oath is the yeah. issue. Uh, Normal people just keep living because they have a body. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> it's an important detail here. So the trick is, well, okay. we don't Here's kill Gorl Gorlar and Dimitri my, lives forever? My life, my love for killing Gorlar, way, that, that's like 10 out of 10. My love for being alive, I mean, uh, seven and a half, eight out of 10. Does anyone have a spell that can delete the last like two minutes conversation from Dimitri's head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, blood force trauma doesn't seem to work, so I think I'm flush out. He's a robot. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work on Greg either. I mean, the okay. only thing I could do is suggestion for eight hours, but then he'd be mad I mean, at me. I think if we turn him into a dragon, I'm, he might I'm forget everything. I'm listening to this conversation, idiots. It's okay, the adults are talking. You're not Don't being worry subtle. about it. I still vote for just climbing down. <laughs> it's not that hard. No. You mean climbing can... up and over? We're so close. We just, we just go right out the front there. gate and drop. <laughs> we can take him this time. I can feel Skitter it. Skitter already did it once. It. Well, we can do it this he time. He was fine. Uh, Greg and Dimitri, when you, you encounter... You can become a dragon. You can become a dragon and just... <sighs> and then no more Gorlar. When you guys encountered That's Gorlar last, what did he look like? Uh... It kind of looked like, uh, well, he looked like himself, except he had a lot more ink. Yeah, it was like a, he kind of had like this Celtic war paint thing going on here. Well, he always had and it. And yeah, and his arm, uh, you know, the one with the cut off? Yeah. It's it, like crystallized over. It looked really badass. Oh, so the question is, did, did he ally himself with the uh, nobles then, or some other force? Um... I don't really know what the nobles are. Uh, the the guys that have made themselves look like squids. They used to be humans, but apparently the nobles oh. were dabbling into bad magic. You're a kid now. You're a squid now. <laughs> I don't think um. this universe's version of Splatoon is particularly wholesome or family friendly. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. It's Nick. I don't think we're talking Dimitri out of this. It's not the worst plan to go up and use the portal. We might be able to make it work. But That's all I'm saying. We don't even know where the portal leads. Uh, I have it on good authority that it leads out. To where? <laughs> Texas, the other the alternative is the drawbridge, but we broke the shit out I of mean, that. Didn't so. Vivi tell us to like take care of the portal before... We're Shit gets worse. Oh, the portal. Yeah. Yeah, all roads are leading to this portal. We should just... I mean, technically, wait, we should just the... wait here for a couple of days and then probably just pick us up and take us up there, but I think that'd be a bad move. Wait, is it the vortex? Yeah. Gorlar is protecting oh. the vortex? Well, then we know we have to stop it. And if that means stopping him, well... Perhaps it'll save Zagnoth. All right, that's three votes. That's three votes. That's democracy. I think zero. Uh, I think zero of us understood that it was literally the primary objective is the portal we were talking about. I I figured it out. I mean, I've been through that portal. Well, that was, that was another <laughs> portal. It was like a little. Yeah, portal. you went no. through the little baby portal. Yeah. Okay. Fair point. And I went through right, a different. So I was right. For, I was right for the wrong reasons. Gotcha. <laughs> Well, all so we roads to lead throw... to Gorlar. We need yep. to throw Gorlar into the portal. Yes, that's what I'm saying! I mean, it does sound like it'd be kind of funny. Alright. Shall we? Yes. Up the stairs! Okay. Wait. Kahuna. He is still... He is somewhere, uh, somewhere, somewhere between the second and third act of the Tempest at this point. <laughs> um, okay, guys. A lot of crazy shit is gonna go down in this hallway. Uh, you can hang out in the courtyard, but no, you he might can... not want to. 
He can take I, Mr. Face Tattoo uh, into the portal. All right. That, uh, you know what? I will, I will err on the side of, uh, not dying. We'll, we'll be up here. Just, uh, the, po- the, the crystal's cool and all, but, uh, the, the life, life is nice. They disappear down the northern corridor. How was the, uh, did they enjoy the show, Kahuma? Bob, yum, yum, yum. Awesome. And now he's an Ewok. <laughs> nub nub. I mean, I really did right. model their speech pattern after Ewoks. Why, why are we uh, dismissing help against the thing that we couldn't even slightly fight last time? Uh, they really did not seem too keen on fighting the ogres. So remember, they said that was explicitly. That's your job. We might not or have to fight the ogres, like. but as soon as they catch wind, well, that... they don't know that. That's the thing. Hmm. Don't they all be like a life debt now or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. Life debt. Kinda. <laughs> they owe double. Yeah, cast, you. They're you, too dumb to cast a spell. You depoisoned one of them, uh, and then proceeded to revert him back to being human too. So he he's got he's got some some things owed to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. However, that does not mean he was willing to throw himself into certain death. All right. These uh, wizards suck in every way. Yup, yup. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Let me go up first. I mean, hold on, hold on. Let me go up first. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to copy the rest of the party just so you guys can get upstairs. Okay. This feels like when two actors that both played Sherlock meet each other in a movie. <laughs> uh, what am I cameoing as myself? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, bird catcher, and also bird catcher. Uh, okay, so you it's like make another movie where Eddie everyone's Murphy. played by Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> so you make it upstairs, and what are you gonna say or do? Uh, and is everybody just falling directly behind Greg, or are you like letting him space it out a little? We'll we'll let him speak, at least briefly. Okay. What's up, guys? Hey, Greg, you're back. Uh, did you got your friends with you? Yep. Uh, I don't know if you're, like, watching, uh, are you, like, on guard or patrol or something? I mean, yeah, we're not supposed to let anybody up, but, I mean, you're not, you're not anybody. All right. You're, yeah, you're yeah, Greg. of course. Thanks. And Thanks. S- Scatter? Uh, so I got, <laughs> um. Scatter? Nah, his name, this, this, this guy's Skitter. He's, a uh, oh, he's pretty awesome. He does I, tricks. Uh, that sounds like a bullying name for how we'd run away from fights. I didn't know uh, goblins could grow beards. I didn't know either. Are, but, uh, are the other goblins? That's what makes this one badass. Jealous. The, uh, the other goblins, uh, they just look really pissed off at about everything. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, might it's be the be, way uh, they were drawn. It's going to be me and about uh, three or four other folks. Uh, wow, you've got... Who'd you get? Did you... I mean, did you did you find the the hobgoblins? No. What? I I mean, no. <laughs> I'm gonna crush some mana crystals and I'm gonna make myself invisible. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I uh, just want to let you know there's a bit of a mess downstairs. I don't know what happened, but like there's a barricade, and then behind the barricade there's a bunch of shit. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Did uh, did did I some, think, like did did somebody uh? I poked, need, need I poked my head clean? in there, and there was like a seal that looked like it had broken. And a while this bunch distraction's of... happening, I'm casting Pass Without Trace on myself and uh, Dimitri. Okay, nice. that doesn't make you invisible though. That just makes it so nobody can track you. Shh. <laughs> okay. It's plus to stealth checks. That's oh. how supposedly magical no, that that skitter fair. works. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you wanna you wanna clue me in like so a seal broke like plumbing? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, kind of. The point is, whole bunch of like, like little little like sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> what are they? What's the word I'm trying to think of? Am I seeing anything wisps. up here? Wispy looking things. Oh, or, uh... you found more wisps. Oh man, we uh. We've been trying to wrangle them for a while. They're 
Not exactly the most uh, uh, wily of things. You found a you found a whole bunch of them. Yeah, they're all downstairs. Awesome. Here, I'll I'll go I'll go fetch him. Be right here. Be right back. He's like going down the stairs. So, oh no. where is everybody else? That's, well, that's yeah. an incredibly low roll. Is that well, stealth? I had gone around the yeah. corner to go to the balcony. <laughs> I assume it's okay. a balcony, right? Well, did you make... Oh, is, yeah, you're invisible, so you're I'm fine. I'm invisible. So, Dres, where the goal are is you to, in all the this? Goal is to sneak, well, the goal is to sneak past while, he, while he's distracting. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> but that was a remarkably low roll <laughs> compared to the bonus itself. Well, he doesn't notice you. Oh my god. He walks oh. right back. If you're, uh, Dimitri, if you're also going by Dimitri, it's uh, uh, it's your dex mod plus 10. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. On a d20. Dimitri, make a... Wait, what do I make do? A, you're, hold your roll breath. Roll 1d20 plus your dex plus 10. Your dex uh, mod. Plus, plus also 3 for my charisma bonus. No. Oh. That does not give you bonuses on skills. This is oh, I thought it was a dex check. No, okay, no, no. we're just doing a stealth, a stealth check. Gotcha. I just went all. I it hasn't come up ever, but I just checked, and I'm proficient in stealth, <laughs> so it's actually plus three on top of that. Okay, uh, so Dimitri has a, disadvantage so on stealth. So it's a three plus fifteen. So that, that's also plus ten. Is that yeah. the deal? Yeah. Okay, uh, but this is also I have disadvantage because uh, of plate armor. Yep. All right. Okay, we're good. He it's still walks. twenty-one. <laughs> Well, he gets a second perception for both of you, and... Oh! And... That's not good. Greg! Uh, wait, what? What happened? He's yelling for Did he just Greg. get a nat 20 on finding Dimitri? Yeah, <laughs> maybe it'll be a hilarious oh. misunderstanding More where he or less, he just found... armor in the hallway. Uh, he, he just found your, uh, your buddy. Greg! Oh. You didn't tell me you had what? a robot man. <laughs> I know. Wait, what the hell is he doing? Dimit- Dimitri, Dimitri, come on like, out. Got a shrub in front of him, like trying to be stealthy. <laughs> oh man, he. I'm still trying to work the bugs out. He's kind of a. He he, he does stupid ass shit sometimes. Oh, in that right, Dimitri. Yeah. Uh, um. Beep. Boop. Ha. Yeah. He's not very interesting, but I mean, he looks damn cool. Where'd you find him? I uh, I found him like, oh, you'll never believe it. I, f- I I ran into like this doll thing, and uh, it turns out that she's. Uh, I've already lost you, haven't I? Yeah. Um, I found him <laughs> in like. <laughs> I found him in a dump. Oh, uh, in the in the same yeah, dump that you found up. all the wisps. No, no, no. Different dump. How many this dumps really are cool you dump. diving? <laughs> I've had a lot of spare time on my hand lately. I, I've, I've discovered freaganism. I can tell. You've also gotten clean. Ugh. He actually just doesn't know very many location names, so he just defaults to <laughs> dump. <laughs> Where about I have to dumb it down from already dumbing it down, okay? <laughs> uh, hey, Dimitri X, come, come here. Beep, boop, yes, master... <laughs> <laughs> performance Dimitri is check? making these sounds, by no, the way. No, he doesn't need to like make perfo- performance checks to pretend to be a robot because of two sessions ago yeah. when he, like, aced being a robot <laughs> repeatedly with nat 20s. Yep. By yep. the way, I'm incredibly frustrated that I held onto that spell nonstop this entire campaign since the time we were in jail. And the one time I cast it, I roll a three and the enemy rolls a nat 20. <laughs> well, you didn't get spotted. Yeah, but it also just wasn't the rolls, necessary. I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but anyway, it might have been necessary. What about I don't Kahuna? know how they would have reacted to out. seeing me and Oh Lauren. yeah, Kahuna's still Oh Jesus. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's see Kahuna do a stealth check. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, really? What kind of <laughs> What's Kahuna? Pass without trace affects multiple targets, so he can add a 10. <laughs> All right, uh, Greg, is this... What kind of friends are you finding? <laughs> drop, drop, drop. Uh, this is just my sentient water bottle. <laughs> Does he have a minus three on deck? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I tell Kahuna to come over here, and I demonstrate, like, uh, I'm just gonna... 
Kahuna. Kahuna looks distinctly uh, dirtier as he passes over uh, the ogre. Bonk. Yeah. Oh. And Kahuna, Bonk I'm looks thirsty. distinctly cl- cleaner. Ew. I'm, I'm thirsty. I stick my, like, like, a, you're gonna no, like drink, my hand out. You're going to drink Bonk's No, no, no. no, no. no what, what, what Kahuna Kahuna's. should do is stick out its but tongue. <laughs> Kahuna and Marla's... He just gave him like a full size bath. You're like drinking from his bath water. Kahuna just squirt, <laughs> squirt guns you in the face. <laughs> squirt. See, it's badass. I, ha. Huh. That's why I'm so clean, dude. You should get one of these things. Damn, where'd you find one? <laughs> in a dump. Jesus, man. How many dumps are there in Zambia? <laughs> Make a bluff check. I found, at, at this point, he's I mean, choosing to maybe disbelieve. I mean, I mean, the whole place is a dump now. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit, that was Dimitri X. Sorry, let me reroll that for Greg. Oh god, I hate that I have to do this. Well, you can take the roll. Just move it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah you take, take the, the roll. roll. You just move the mod, which is yeah, minus one. Yeah. So. Okay, so an 18. That's pretty good. All right, it's fine. I convinced him. Yep. Wow. Uh, you're going to have to tell me where these dumps are. It looks like they're treasure troves. Here, look. Uh, I, I, your friends seem really cool. Uh, maybe a little bit lacking in the personality department, but I got to go get those wisps. I mean, they, they kind of get away from us really easily. So he goes downstairs. Get away from us? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he's going to get the wisps. That was the... That was the best exchange we've ever done. That was the, that was the, that was great. I'm a- Every moment of that. <laughs> I'm around the corner, by the way. Uh, what yeah. did I see? Over so here? you guys are out on the balcony. I should probably reveal this. Uh, so you guys are in the balcony overlooking uh, the area down downstairs, and the wizard. For are- Drez, who flung himself off the balcony. Well, you couldn't. I didn't control it. <laughs> True. So you guys can actually see the uh, the area below. It looks nice. And there was a balcony on the opposite side, right? Uh, yeah, but I haven't drawn it because I don't... I, Like I said, I've only managed to draw half the map here. And if you guys had gone too fast tonight, you would have hit that uh, vertical wall of no door. Uh, because I was going to use the bridge box. Oh, I mean, you can. Right. If you want to, we'll just end the episode Wait, early. Wait, the, the drawbridge was broken and you have a bridge in a box? Yeah. But <laughs> the drawbridge was drawn. Oh, the drawbridge was drawn Wait, up. Do you have a bridge in a box, or is it just one of the tower cards? No, it is called the bridge box. You oh. open it up. It's from Merrick or something, and it's supposed to make a bridge. I remember you got that. Why did you get? And, I don't know. Why were we acting like we couldn't use the drawbridge then to get to your? Well, no, the drawbridge. The is drawbridge totally is closed, closed like, like you up guys, over the door. Oh, you literally right. can't get out of there. Oh, I thought we broke oh, it. Oh, right. You broke it in the up position. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, okay. I won't use it immediately then. I will So make sure everything's okay in there. Uh, do you guys do anything while he's down there? There's, there's. I mean, there's still, uh, there's still uh, Gonk and the, the five angry goblins. Oh, I, I think we should make ourselves scarce and get out of this area. Okay, so you're just going to book it? Yep. Okay. okay. Wait, so we're going up the stairs. Uh, yeah. You guys are gonna have to make uh one more. Uh, Dimitri, you're gonna have to ma- not Dimitri. Uh, Drez, you're gonna have to make another spell s- stealth check just to get by everybody. Yeah, this else. is really awkward because I thought that we were going this way, <laughs> and it's just one tiny balcony. Yeah. Whoops. So the door is already open down this direction, so it's not bi- a big deal. Okay. So Drez, are you? Oh yeah, you're fine. Oh, he's. They're fine. not even looking for you. So, unless you had rolled mm-hmm. like you're all... comically low. Whew. Okay, so you guys make it out there. Uh, uh, what the? Our <laughs> a water elemental, a merfolk, a bugbear, a goblin, a warforged, <laughs> and a lizard with a paladin ghost. <laughs> with a paladin ghost. What the there's fuck one, is this there's, party? <laughs> well, there's, there's there's one human, but it's they're dead. It's like we decided to just like throw a dart, like darts at a dartboard, and explicitly took off things like human and elf. I mean, that is actually what happened. I said, "Hey guys, uh, to my to my fans, 
Make me some characters. Don't make him human or like any of the boring races. Hey, but I made my character. You made your character, but everybody else got, uh, well, a lizard folk and a, and a bugbear. It's like if you take the cast of Mass Effect Two, but just delete all the humans. <laughs> I'm okay yeah, with that. Kinda. I really, and you I get, actually, like, drell I would, and stuff. <laughs> I would love it if they actually just did a Mass Effect game without the humans. Screw them. They don't make the games more interesting. My cast of characters for cool. my story is like all aliens except for maybe one human. So what do you guys, so are you guys just going through the door? Yeah. Okay, so this door is not locked uh, like the other ones. You enter into what looked to have maybe been like a common room, kind of like a reading area. Uh, looks like you're probably up in the like officer's quarters area. Um, huh. So that's like thoroughly entrenched. Yeah. So that's the thing. There is... One door uh, in the bottom corner, and it is messed up. It is, um, like, the door looks like it had been uh, blasted open already, and then fixed, probably with magic, and then barricaded further, and now the crystal and stuff is growing out. Ew. And what's this door over here? Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to, trying to set something up in, uh, so you guys don't have to... Unfortunately, the user interface on this is bad because it's all web stuff. I gotta get fantasy grounds for the next campaign. Okay. Um. So what door? Oh, this the one. lower door. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's just a uh, a small like storage closet. Ooh. Anything interesting in the storage closet? I don't know. Time to search every single one of them, and then check. someone rolls a nat one, and then they live inside. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Barrels. We have right. to maintain Barrels, our tradition. You find. You guys are really bad at finding stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think I've seen an investigation check above 15 this entire, like, past five episodes. It's been a long time. Yeah. Like, I actually set the DCs higher because you kept finding all the secret shit. And now, uh, in compensation, you guys have started rolling lower, too. Which well, is maybe I can use my laser wand to reverse the polarity of pass of that trace to pass it with, like, so much trace. And then we find okay. everything. So, Shell, you that find... That doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> also, the, the idea I'm thinking of would just be basically fairy fire. So, yep. Shell, you actually, uh, after rifling through them, you find... Uh, let's see. You find two healing potions. Okay. Four spell crystals. And a pair of thick, uh, thick leather boots with uh, with like metal plates on the bottom. They look like the iron boots from Zelda. Whoa, weird. How much strength do you have to have to wear these? Uh, they look pretty heavy. Uh, who needs boots? Do you need boots, Greg? Uh, sure. I'm just imagining that he's been with, like, his open toes exposed to the earth all this time. I don't know. Did he have actual armor? Probably. Uh, yeah, I have plate armor. Yeah, he's got he's got full plate on. Yep. What do they do? Uh, I mean, I, I can look at them. Is that... Or you could just put them on and knock your heels together. Is that a yes? <laughs> Or no? Um, Do you guys... Okay. I'll just go back to sitting on Gre Greg's shoulders. No, we were waiting for your response. Wait, you didn't say yes. You didn't hand me the boots. <laughs> Sorry, I got I got distracted. Otherwise, I would have said something. <laughs> okay. I, got, I had to do something real quick. Well. Anyway. Um. Uh. Yeah, let me, I can put them on. Okay. Sure. So you put them on... And uh, there's kind of this, like, disconcerting feeling of, like, you can't feel the ground anymore. Like, you're walking. Huh. It feels like you're walking on a surface. Um, but, like, you know, normally when you're walking, you can kind of feel what surface you're walking on. You can't feel what yep. surface you're walking on anymore. Uh, I guess I try to, like, rub the, the, the sole of the shoe against the uh, crystals. It honestly feels like... You're just stepping on normal ground. Like, everything is normal. That stool, normal. 
Uh, Kahuna, normal. Ah. The ground, normal. So that... I attempt to run up the side of the wall. It is normal, but gravity is also normal, and you end up just kind of <laughs> awkwardly running uh, on, well, on your back on the floor and just kind of running your feet on the wall. By the Sweet. Si- huh. Well, maybe that means that you just aren't phased by difficult terrain. You unlocked cleats. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Hey, Skitter, yeah. back on shoulders. All right. Also, why are we still doing this? Um, I don't know. I just got used to it. Because you both seek companionship. Also oh. that. Uh, yeah, you might as well put the stuff back on. Why not? Can... If we're going to do this, we might as well do it right. Okay. Can Kahuna put slide the through the side on? of the door? Um, uh, the, the goggles and your mustache. You... I mean, there's crystal kind of like leaking out through the sides. Eh, probably not. Then he wouldn't do that. Is the crystal yeah. water soluble? No. Actually, I guess uh, I go over to the bookshelf and I uh, look at some of the titles on it. Honestly, you have never actually tried touching Kahuna with any of the uh, crystals. Okay, well, Kahuna, like, sort of globs through this stuff. He globs through this stuff. Nothing happens. Okay. Uh. (laughs) I was hoping he would just turn into a giant health potion. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if you crush the crystal up and then mix it in him. Oh, man, that'd be weird. Just Uh, having a a health. He'll become a health (laughs) elemental. No, he becomes a Kool-Aid guy. (laughs) Kool-Aid, man. Uh, Oh, yeah. All right, uh... Yeah, look at some of the books. Okay, roll investigation. Oh, right, of course. Oh. Are there any about homeopathy? <laughs> you find uh you find a book on uh uh Fantastic Pants and Where to Buy Them. <laughs> uh I'd have to hang on to book, I guess. Wait, what year is it? Uh, like, what edition? It is, is this out of date? It is, uh... It, no, no, no. No, it is It is current. It's a It's a recent edition. I still feel bad nice. that I donated my first edition Scholastic version of, be, you know, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them at, to the library, like, a year or two. You donated be- a first edition? Jesus, why'd you do that? <laughs> it was after college and I was cleaning out books and the movie hadn't been announced yet and I didn't much care for it because it was literally just a list of monsters from Harry Potter that I never really cared about. So I'm like, eh, I got... Yeah, but the first edition. Yeah, my dad still has his first edition D&D books. No, no, this isn't D&D. This is yeah, I know, Fantastic but Beasts like... and Where to Find Them. It was one of those tiny little paperback things that you'd get for three bucks at the school... Like, they even put a little stamp on the inside being like, here's your Scholastic Book Fair. <laughs> well, anyway. It's terrible. Uh, all right, I guess we'll turn to this door. Okay. It is Donk. It is uh, not locked either. All right. I open. So you enter out into a little area. There is actually, there is an ogre in here. And oh, he's whoa. sitting at a table, and he looks to be, like, uh, reading notes or whatever. Is that Gronk? Uh, this is... Uh, Gronk? Oh, there's Bonk, uh, guess... Stronk, and Gonk. This oh, is Gonk. Oh, Gonk yep. is the magical one. Yeah, Gonk is Gonk is the, uh, the ogre mage, and he's sitting at a ah. table, uh, and he looks to be poring over, like, notes... And uh, I, I tap and on, I tap on Greg. Does he have two tell heads? Him to take the stuff off again. <laughs> Greg, we're gonna need your charm. What? My my what? <laughs> Greg, go first. Okay. How long does pass without trace oh. last? A while. An hour. Wow. It's concentration. Uh, so I think invisibility lasts for, lasts for an hour, too. You guys have, like, the best stealth setup right now. Really? Mine only lasted a minute. Oh, only a minute. Okay. It was greater invisibility. Oh, okay. Alright, anyway. Uh, oh! Hey, Gronk. Ah! Uh, Gre- Greg? I thought... Aren't you supposed to be dead? 
Yeah, that's like the third or fourth time that somebody said that to me. Anyway, just pass it on through. I, uh, do you, you don't want to go in there. What's in there? Well, the the overseers they they went mental. Oh, did they? Yeah, I, you know, just one mi- one minute or having a nice conversation about uh you know manipulating arcane energies and you know uh and summoning more wisps and so on and so forth and then next minute they're wigging out just screaming and throwing psychic blasts everywhere and well i locked him in there you just locked him in there huh well what do you are we gonna take care of him or what i if you're dumb enough to do so i mean you you do I mean, know I'm they're not really flares, to leave right? jobs I'm not one to leave jobs half finished. I, That's all I'm saying. All right, I sure be my guest. <laughs> well, I mean, what are you looking up? You're reading some books I, there. Well, do you want to go fist fight a mind flare? Nope, you do. You don't sympathize with my situation at all. I'm not gonna stop you. Go, go in. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, you just some things never change, Gronk. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, some things never do. All right. Good luck. Uh, I guess I've now boxed myself into opening this door for some reason. This conversation took a weird turn. I attempt to open the door. Okay. No, that not that door. The other door. <laughs> oh, what's behind this door? Oh, that that's my office. All right. <laughs> anyway, I got some friends passing through. I talked to, um, what was his name? Strong. Bronk. Uh, there, there's Bonk, Strunk, and Gonk. Okay, These Bonk. Names. I talked to Bonk about it. Uh, he knows we're here. We, uh, we're cool. Ha! Huh. Got a bunch, uh... I should have told me. Got a ragtag. Well, I would have, I guess, prepared to welcome, but whatever. I... Uh, it's fine. Hey, check out my robot. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alarn... Oh, and my water bottle. Alarn, are you visible? I am, but I'm not in his line of sight yet, am no. I? You're not. So what are you doing? Are you just going to pretend you like you belong, or... Because... Uh, oh, no. This Because the other... Robot distraction. The other two are, are acting like they belong. But you're... We haven't established how you fit into this uh, charade. Sure. Char- yeah. Charade. So, yeah, especially because charade. the other ones don't know. Like, they didn't see me. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah. He's still invisible. Let's I mean, it's it's my companions that were in 30 feet when I cast it, which includes you. Yeah. So you also can do a plus 10 to your stealth check. Hmm. This is interesting. Yeah, what will I do? I mean, I have disguises. You could tell them the history of your people. That'd probably put them under. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, funny. Well, I'll... I'll I'll try to be confident. So the moment you walk into the room, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, give me a second. D- Greg, make a will save. Alrighty, and this has the con bonus. Okay, oh, you right. cannot move or do anything. Uh. Uh, we really nailed it. Oh no! There we go. I'm is just this... making. Nope, that's not the right. Is that the work of the beast or the ogre casting something? You on notice it? definitely uh, the ogre. So sounds like hold person. So yes. So uh, for those of you that can cast spells, Greg just got hit by hold person, and you you see uh, you see uh, Gonk's hand pointed directly at him, and you know there's kind of the crackle of magic, and he is staring directly at Alarin. Greg! Well, that wasn't a good idea. Mm-hmm. Who's this? You can move your mouth. Uh, it's a Lauren. It's uh, a friend of mine. Huh. This is when you notice... Is there a problem? One of the, uh... One of the, uh, things he has on his table is actually an image of a Lauren and Drez. <laughs> 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 and... If you had uh, made an investigation check or a high enough perception check, 
Uh, in the other room, you would have noticed that they had uh, headshots of the two of them. Not of not of They're... Greg and not of Dimitri because they haven't met Dimitri yet, but they know who uh, Drez and Alarn are. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> your friend. Yeah, is there a problem? Uh huh. We have uh, well, I'd say it's a bit of a no-fly list, but that's not quite uh, well, that's not quite uh, accurate. Uh, for her, let's call it a no-swim list. She. Is one of that sounds racist. <laughs> she is one of uh well, let's say Gorlar's targets. He's a little bit cross about the whole losing an arm thing. I had no part in that at all. You you can you can tell him that. Um, but you are going to be coming with me. The rest of you, I cast blight. <laughs> all right, give me a second. My first ever stealth attack. <laughs> Necro level four, damn. I'm trying to Draining figure out. Draining the moisture. I'm trying to figure out the. Uh, okay, there we are. Uh oh, interesting. Apparently, uh, ogre mages have been separated out to oni for five uh, e. Hmm. That's interesting. Of Japanese lore? Yeah, apparently. Okay. I mean, yeah, they're often said to be uh, the Japanese I'm going to give him ogres. disadvantage. No, he succeeds. So he takes half damage? Yeah. Okay. So he more or less just goes, Aah! and then is going to uh, roll for initiative. 22 before initiative damage. Yeah. Oh. One of these days, it'll actually do full damage uh. to something. <laughs> From zero for three so far. And so diplomacy fails them again, as usual, I guess. Wow. Anyway, so diplomacy has failed them. All that's left is to fight. But uh, who exactly is showing up to this fight? Is it everyone? Is it everyone plus more? Who knows? What's beyond that door? What? What's Gorlar even doing here? Well, find out next time on Dungeons & Dragons, Grave of Man.